Battle of Trenton The Battle of Trenton was a crucial turning point in the American Revolutionary War. On December 26, 1776, General George Washington led a surprise attack on the Hessian garrison in Trenton, New Jersey, following a dangerous crossing of the Delaware River. Despite being outnumbered, Washington's Continental Army captured almost two-thirds of the Hessian force, boosting the morale of the American troops and encouraging re-enlistments. Prior to this battle, the Continental Army had experienced several defeats and morale was low. But the victory at Trenton inspired patriots and sympathizers of the newly formed United States, resulting in soldiers serving longer and attracting new recruits. Background In early December 1776, American morale was at a low point as the Continental Army suffered defeat after defeat at the hands of the British and their Hessian auxiliaries. Men were deserting, and even General George Washington expressed doubts about the chances of winning independence. Trenton, a small town in New Jersey, was occupied by 1,400 Hessian soldiers under the command of Colonel Johann Rahl. Against this force, Washington led a much smaller army of 2,400 men, comprising infantry divisions led by Major Generals Nathaniel Green and John Sullivan, and artillery under Brigadier General Henry Knox. Battle on December 26, in the morning at 8 a.m., the Hessians set up an outpost at a cooper shop on Pennington Road, which was about one mile northwest of Trenton. Washington led the attack and rode in front of his soldiers. As the Hessian commander left the shop, an American soldier fired at him but missed. The Hessian commander shouted, "Der Feind, the enemy, and other Hessians came out. The Americans fired three volleys, and the Hessians returned one of their own. Washington ordered his troops to block the road that led to Princeton, and they attacked the Hessian outpost there. The Hessian commander realized this was more than a raiding party and retreated with his men. The Hessian detachments made organized retreats, firing as they fell back. On the high ground at the north end of Trenton, they were joined by another company from the Lossberg Regiment. They engaged the Americans, retreating slowly, keeping up continuous fire, and using houses for cover. General Sullivan entered Trenton with his troops by the abandoned River Road and blocked the only crossing over the Asunpink Creek to cut off the Hessian escape. Sullivan held up his advance to make sure Green's division had time to drive the Hessians from their outposts in the north. Soon after, they continued their advance, attacking the Hermitage, home of Philemon Dickinson, where 50 Jaegers were stationed. The Jaegers brought 12 of their men into action against the advanced guard but quickly realized they were outnumbered and retreated to the Hessian barracks. As Green and Sullivan's columns pushed into the town, Washington moved to high ground north of King and Queen Streets to see the action and direct his troops. U.S. artillery from the other side of the Delaware River had come into action, devastating the Hessian positions. The three Hessian regiments began to prepare for battle with the sounding of the alarm. The Rawl Regiment formed on Lower King Street along with the Lossberg Regiment, while the Nyfausen Regiment formed at the lower end of Queen Street. The Hessians attempted to advance up the street but their formations were quickly broken by the U.S. guns and fire from Mercer's men who had taken houses on the left side of the street. The Hessians fled, and Rahl ordered two three-pound cannons into action, but within just a few minutes, half of the Hessians manning their guns were killed by the U.S. cannon. The Hessians retreated, taking heavy losses from grapeshot and musket fire. In the southern part of the town, Americans under command of Sullivan began to overwhelm the Hessians. John Stark led a bayonet charge at the Nyfausen Regiment, whose resistance broke because their weapons would not fire. Sullivan led a column of men to block off escape of troops across the creek. Consequences After the Hessians surrendered, General Washington shook the hand of a young officer and called it a glorious day for our country. He then spoke with Lieutenant Andreas Wiederhold, who explained the shortcomings of the enemy's preparation. However, Washington soon found out that two of his divisions had not been able to cross the river, leaving him with only 2,400 men. This was not enough to attack Princeton and New Brunswick. Washington and his men then crossed back over the Delaware into Pennsylvania, taking prisoners and supplies with them. A week later, Washington would continue his success in the Battle of the Asunpink Creek and the Battle of Princeton.